Hey, welcome back to Built Fixed. I just saw my phone. I had a request from John if I would please show a quick update to my uh, bevel gauge here and uh, or angle gauge and show uh, it in use and show how accurate is the gauge. All right, let's begin here. The uh, gauge is set to uh, zero degrees, so I'll be making a 90 degree cut. Cut number one, uh, 90. It looks dead zero to me. Let's check with the brown and sharp. At this stage, I would say the saw is cutting a very true uh, 90 degree cut here. All right, let's just choose a random angle. We can say maybe uh, 16.5 degrees. The gauge is now locked to 16.5. I'm sure you can't see the graduations on camera, but take my word for it. And I don't see daylight between the gauge and the wood. Now there are two ways you can test uh, something. You know, you have accuracy and you have precision. Now I've checked against the gauge. Let's just see about some idea of precision. So if I were to uh, move this angle now away from 16.5 and then come back to it again, recut my piece of wood and check it again with my gauge. My gauge, uh, the brown and sharp, is locked at 16.5. So even if it's not truly 16.5, we can now see is uh, this gauge here precise to do something and repeat it over and over again. So let's try it out. All right, this is take two on 16.5 degrees. It's very, very close. All right, there's one thing I'm noticing here during this test, and that's the locking device on the saw. It is trying to actually manipulate and change my setting here. Uh, so you can see, for instance, if I go to lock the locking gauge down, you'll watch this gauge begins to move. All right, to end this test, let's jump back to zero so I can get a straight 90 cut and uh, just verify that my saw is now back to its original setting and the gauge indicates that I'm also on zero. All right, let's test now the saw's ability to go back to zero again. And I can see, yeah, maybe no surprise, my stops on my saw are perfect. And the gauge also indicated zero too. All right, let's wrap up. Here's my opinion. I like it. I think it's pretty good. It's going to be a, a huge help for me to see what I'm cutting from the wheel point of view rather than look at a sticker on the front of the saw. Now, if you're the type of person that comes to your workshop and does woodworking with a machinist uh, tool, you'll probably be very disappointed. It, it's not that you know accurate nor precise. But probably for most woodworking applications, 
this gauge will get you most of the way there. And I say most because as the cut uh, gets higher and higher, any little bit of uh, inaccuracy uh, becomes more obvious out at the end of the cut. And uh, this piece that I cut here for the sample cut uh, is 65 millimeters high, which is about 2.5 inches. So keep that in mind. All right, one last and important thing has to do with the scale on the accessory. I found it a bit tricky to, you know, accurately come to a 0.5 of a degree. The uh, scale uh, does not extend all the way out to the pointer uh, if you're dealing with a 0.5 of, of a degree. And so you have to really sight down uh, that you know, red indicator line to find out if you're in the middle of your 0.5 of some degree. So that's a bit tricky and I think that that might be a problem for some people. Um, I'm sure I'll get over it and get used to it, but it could have been better I think if the graduations all came out to the pointer and um, were easier to read. Well John and the rest of you folks out there watching, I hope this extended review uh, was valuable and helped out uh, with your choice to get or not get this accessory. Um, I would say that probably you'll be happy having it, but of course that's your choice to make, not mine. But with that being said, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.